Collecting battle pads in WoW can sometimes be really, really fun, but sometimes it can also be quite a challenge. And today we're going to have a look at collecting pads in World of Warcraft, a WoW Machinima by Nixium. I'm super excited about this, so yeah, let's have a look. Come one, come all. You'll all love this adorable little stinky fella. And he's all yours <laughs> if you've collected just 50 pets. That's right, just 50 and earn the achievement. Oh, and who yeah, here doesn't pets. like collecting pets? Some are cool, actually. <laughs> oh. Oh, sir, sir. Oh. You look like someone who loves pets. Uh. Take a look at this little fella right here. Isn't he just adorable? He stinks. Ugh. Oh wow. Did he just do that? Like seriously? <laughs> Let's watch this again. <laughs> but it does look OP. Like, you know what's actually interesting? There are like some battle pets. And they look like like I've seen a few like uh, blue pets, like they're blue quality, and they look like freaking green quality pets. Like very, very uh, low quality textures and stuff and very cheap models. <laughs> Isn't he just adorable? Oh my gosh. Oh wow. He actually is pretty cool. Yes indeed. He's all yours. And all you have to do is... Oh mine you say? <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Come here little buddy. That's strong? What the? Oh! Ah. You... you... you hit me! Damn it! Why can't I steal this pet? Ah, uh, you can't just take him. He's a reward for an achievement. An achievement? But I want him right now. Well, if you want him so badly, all you need to do is collect fifty pets, and he's the reward. Fifty pets? That's oh, easy, what? actually. Where the hell am I gonna find fifty pets? So, when it comes to pets, you can have three of each uh, type, right? Like, the same one you can have three times. So, all you need to do is, if you want 50 pets, you just go to each starting zone of each race. And sometimes you have, like, those cheap snakes. You have those, like, simple bugs. You have, like, prairie dogs. And there are, like, a lot of, like, easy-to-catch uh, pets. You can even catch uh, three of those ghosts at the Forsaken starting zone and stuff. Like, getting 50 pets is... Like, it sounds like much... But from each zone, you can get like three or four different ones, right? So you go just to different zones. You at least level your pets to around like level, like some around level 10 or something. So you go to like the next zones, right? And you maybe fight some, get them low HP, then you catch them. It's not that tough. Plus you can buy a lot in the auction house too. <laughs> All right, Mr. Pickles. And Are you rest ready for the them ball? at times. God damn it, Kevin, just fucking throw it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I know they're out there. They want to steal my children from me, but they ain't getting them. They're mine, I say. Oh, that's a crazy mine! cat lady from Erin Forest. Who is it? <laughs> oh, that was brutal. Whoa. This place is a gold mine of pets. Wow. Oh, you poor, poor, poor orphans! Ooh, you've all suffered so too? much at the hands of these unnecessary wars, but don't- Wait a second, you can have orphans as pets too in WoW? I didn't know that! That's interesting, so you can have human pets. Wait, there's a mecha orc even. That's fascinating. And yeah, by the way guys, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. No, like there are some very strange pets too. Like I actually the other day I got like a ghoul pet, and I, I it was like weird. Like, huh? How can I have like a ghoul as a pet, right? Like you have some that look. Oh, there's like this mini ogre you can uh, buy, right? From I actually froze that one. I still need to buy that. I have enough tokens now. Don't worry. With the power of peace and friendship, oh. we will overcome all the hatred and in this world. Oh. And to start, I've used the funds from the Stormwind Royal Treasury to buy each and every one of you your very own pet. Even a dinosaur. <gasps> That's my hunter pet, actually. Hey, kids. Sorry for dropping in, but I'm gonna need these pets. Hey! You're that fucking asshole that punched me earlier and stole my Mr. Pickles! 
What? <laughs> yeah. All what? right, Mr. Gnome. I did it. 50 pets, just like you asked for. <laughs> wow, that was fast. Wow. How did you manage to collect 50 pets That's so crazy. quickly? Oh, you know. So can I have that little skunk now? Uh, sure. Go right ahead, Deaf Knight. He's all yours. Oh, nice. I'm gonna name him Snickerdoodle. Come on, Mr. What Snickerdoodle. Let's get out of here. What a name. Deaf Knight, wait! What about all your other pets? You're not just gonna leave them here, are you? Oh, oh, oh yeah, I, I forgot. He releases them. Wait, he just killed them. What the heck? He literally just killed all his pets. <laughs> uh, collecting pets. But are they even OP? Like, there's one thing I don't understand about battle pets. I have to actually look this up. Like, I know that there are, like, some battle pets. You can have, like, three at a time, right? And there are, like, some that have, like, dots, for example, that you can uh, use. Then you just switch to a pet that does, like, direct damage. You have those that can heal you. Or, like, the other pets, I mean. But... Is there actually a pet, a battle pet meta, like a certain kind of mixture of pets you need to have to be like super OP? Or are they pretty balanced? Like I have to actually look more into it. Because like I did a few um, pet battles, it's actually quite fun. It reminds me of freaking Pokemon or something, right? But I believe that there are some pets that are stronger than others or certain combinations that go better. Because like some of those battle pets have unique skills like one has a skill where the other pet cannot flee for two rounds or so. One uh, applies a dot so each round it takes uh, damage. Another one actually heals the pet probably even the other pets or whatever pet is active right. So I'm like sometimes wondering is there a certain mix of pets you need to have in, in your group to be like meta like super OP I don't know. I have to actually learn more about that maybe check out some guides and stuff. But yeah, it's actually fun. Like, I love this kind of stuff in, like, MMOs where you have, like, some mini games. Like, this is the same with, like, the Gold Saucer in uh, Final Fantasy XIV, where besides, like, your regular gameplay, you have, like, uh, other stuff you can do. And while you have, like, pet battles in freaking uh, Final Fantasy XIV, you have parkour where you have to jump from platform to platform without, like, freaking falling down. And you can actually even get, like, rewards for this and, like, transmogs. But yeah, with the pets, it's also interesting. I, I do find some actually cool to like follow your, your character. Like some f uh, fit a lot. For example, like I have a core hound pet. And this one is like very small. But it follows me on my warlock. And it looks quite cool. It looks like I have even more pets. Especially if I'm on demonology. So yeah, I really like that. But yeah, what what do you guys think about battle pets? Are you out there collecting them? And do you have any advice on how I should actually make pe battle pet groups? Like, should I have one that heals, one that, I don't know, makes the other one not flee with dots? Like, I have no clue how that actually works. But I will learn more about battle pets in the near future. And yeah, I wish everyone a wonderful day. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. There's more content coming soon. And I will see you guys next time.